I'm Lori Marrero, creator of the Clutter Diet book and online program, and today I'm coming to you from my brand new house. I've been waiting for this house to be built for eight months, and I've been in a lot of transition in a temporary apartment, and here I am. In fact, I'm sorry about the echo that you hear in the sound because I don't even have my furniture in here yet. The movers are coming tomorrow to bring all my stuff over and right now we're just painting. You can see I've got the same color that I had in my office before that you might have seen in some of my other videos. So I'm excited. I'm making it feel like a home and it's going to be all put together soon. So I wanted to address the size of this home because I have downsized a dramatic amount to be here. The house that I'm in here now is about the same square footage that the average home was in the United States in 1973. It's about 1,600 square feet. Now I came from a house that was 4,500 square feet with a family of four and a dog and an acre and a half. And now, you know, this is much smaller. So I've had to sell a lot of things and obviously donate a lot of things. But in the meantime, I was in a 700 square foot apartment waiting for this construction. And I wanted to address a comment that I got here on the YouTube channel that I really took to heart. Somebody kind of picked on me a little bit because I had made a comment about how small my apartment was and saying that it was 700 square feet in a previous video. And you know what? At first I thought, oh no, that is a small place. But you know what? It's true. People around the world live in much smaller space than we do, and we really need to have perspective on that. So, as I said, the average home in 1973 was 1,660 square feet. Now, the average home in the United States is 2,392 square feet. That's a big difference. In the meantime, one out of 11 of us have a storage unit. So, we have bigger space and we have more stuff. In fact, we have so much stuff we have to get an annex for all of our belongings beyond the massive amount of square footage we have. So let's look at how many square feet are average in all the other countries around the world that we might compare ourselves to. So Australia, 2217. Denmark, 1475. France, 1216. Spain is 1044. Ireland, 947. In the UK, it's 818, and in China, the average square footage is 646 square feet, which is smaller than the apartment I had over this summer waiting for my house to be built. That gave me a lot of perspective and gave me pause, and I stand corrected. I'm really glad that this person commented and pointed that out because it's consistent with what I always say about being grateful for having more than enough. So consider that as you clean out your closets or do your other projects. Do you really need all this stuff? What could you really donate? Do you need to have a storage unit? We have so much abundance here in the United States and we really need to reconsider what we think enough means. In the meantime, I'm gonna be moving my stuff in here tomorrow. The movers are bringing all this furniture and I'm so excited. To get it all put together, I'm going to be showing you my brand new closet really soon that I'm very excited about. And I've got some cool things that I'm putting in for the garage and the kitchen and my utility closet that I have. I don't have a utility room anymore. So there's a lot of fun stuff to come in the weeks ahead. In the meantime, if you ever need help with a move, I have moved so many times, including this one, with myself and my clients. I wrote a book about it. It's called the Improve Your Move Workbook. And it's 90 something pages of just checklists and all kinds of really chunky, great information for you if you're moving. So check that out at clutterdiet.com slash moving book. In the meantime, may you always be happy and grateful for having more than enough. Mm -hmm.